Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 Now as of right now my favorite phone is still a Moto Z Droid Force So let's see if the Note 7 can take the title back Now y'all know I hate talking about specs, but since this is an unboxing video Let's go over the main specs that you need to know starting with the most important spec to me the price now, if you order this from Samsung's website, off contract, you're looking at 850 bucks plus tax, plus shipping and handling, that's gonna run you 945 bucks. Now, if you order from a carrier, you might get it a little bit cheaper. I actually ordered two, one from Samsung and one from Sprint. The Sprint version was $30 cheaper. Now, on a side note, if you pre-ordered this, they gave you a choice of three free gifts. The first one was a year of Netflix, which is trash. You could get that free with a toaster. The second one was a 256 gig micro SD card, which is cool if you need the extra storage. But the third gift that I went with was the Samsung Gear Fit 2. Now, if y'all watch my video I did for this, you know the band on this is pretty garbage. Mine actually broke. That's why we got another one. Hashtag another one. Now, this phone comes in three different colors. You got coral blue, which I seen today. It's garbage. You got black onyx, that's this one. And we got the silver, that's coming next week. Now for display, you got a 5.7 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display with the resolution of 1440 by 2560. That's 515 for the PPI Patrol. Now the phone does have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back. Now as far as the processor, you got a Snapdragon 820 with the Adreno 530 GPU. The phone is running Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. You got 64 gigs of storage and four gigs of RAM. You also have expandable memory, so you could drop a micro SD card in that slot for up to 256 gigs. Now on the back, you got a 12 megapixel camera. That's F1.7. You got phase detection, autofocus, optical image stabilization, LED flash, 4K video, all of the good stuff. On the front, you got a five megapixel camera. Now you got a 3,500 milliamp non-removable battery that does feature fast charge and fast wireless charge. Now this is the first Samsung phone that has USB type C. You get a fingerprint sensor, an iris sensor. This is uh, running Bluetooth 4.2, that's the newest version. Since this is a Note, you got the S Pen. You got your heart rate monitor. The phone does have NFC, so you can use your Android Pay. And this is the first Note that's water resistant. All right, so that's all the specs. Let's pop this open real quick. Beautiful looking presentation. I like the black box. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. Shout out to Xerxes up in the cut. Nice looking box though. Y'all know I like a nice box. Why not? Right. Okay. Black Onyx. Okay. Samsung. Here we go. Oh, more tape. Yeah. Right. Right. Now, keep in mind, this is almost $1,000. Let's see if this presentation is worth it. Okay. So inside, here's your phone. Little tray. Little warning sticker for you to pluck and file to the side. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Let's just see what else is in here, why not? Okay, SIM ejection tool. Usual books and shit, file that to the side. Okay, now they're not gonna troll me this time with the purple headphones. It just looks purple, but these are regular white headphones. All right, don't get trolled like me. Quality version Samsung headphones. We'll test them out in a minute. Has your fast charging brick. All right, adaptive fast charge. Let's see what else you get. Now here's your spare S Pen tips and the removal to uh, removal <laughs> the removal tool. Now, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Out of every note I had, I never changed the tip once. Whatever. Now, this is your USB to my uh, USB Type-C. All right, USB connector for data transfer. This is the same one that came with the Samsung Icon X headphones. Same kind of thing. Now, look, this is the same little adapter that came with the Axon 7. This is micro USB to USB Type-C. So if you got all those desktop chargers and battery chargers with the built-in micro USB cable, 
You don't have to throw those away now, now that you have USB Type-C. Just keep this little connector. Now I'm using this on my Vivis Night charger. That's one of my favorite battery chargers that has the built-in cable. Drop that in there. What else? And here's your USB Type-C cable. All right, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Come on, Zerks. <laughs> You're trolling heavy. Now here's the phone. So let's get rid of this plastic real quick. Okay. Phone does feel good in the hands. Now this is the black Onyx version. On one side, you got your power button. Look out, Zerks. All right, she's trolling heavy right now. One side, you got your power button. Come on, bro. On the back. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all want to see the cat all the time. You get what you're at. There we go. All right, now on one side, you got your power button. Phone is curved on both sides. You got a physical home button on the bottom. Now you still got a headphone jack. Here's a USB Type-C connection. Speaker, S Pen, and a mic. Okay? Now for all y'all that keep asking, no, you can't put the S Pen in upside down. I don't know why you would do that in the first place, but you can't do it. Clicks back into place. On the other side, you got your volume up and down. On the back, here's your 12 megapixel camera, your LED flash, heart rate monitor. On the top, here's where you're gonna put your SIM at and your micro SD card right in that slot. And that's pretty much it. On the front, here's your front facing camera, your iris sensor, and another mic. All right, so that's pretty much it. So let's do a little size comparison. I'll pause the video, I'll drop some of my information in, and we'll uh, see what it looks like. Now I'm not gonna compare it with every single phone that's out. Let's just do a little size comparison to some of the other big dog phones. All right, so here's a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. S6 Edge Plus. Basically the same exact height. Yep, same height, almost the same width. Right, hold up. All right, here we go. All right, so that's S6 Edge Plus. Let's see what we got. LG V10. All right, the V10 is actually taller. All right, so the V10 is a little bit taller and a little bit wider. Okay, so this is still a big giant phone right here. What else we got? Nexus 6P. All right, the Nexus 6P is actually a little bit taller also. Let's see, a little bit taller and a little bit wider. What else? All right, just in case you got a big Nexus 6. Nexus 6 is bigger and wider, but you knew that already. iPhone 6S Plus. Probably one of the tallest phones on the market. iPhone is definitely taller. What else? Galaxy S7. Now, if you got a Galaxy S7 Edge, let's see. Now, the Note is a little bit taller. All right, just a little bit taller, almost a little bit wider. Let's see if you got a Galaxy Note 5. Now, these are almost the exact same height. Same height and same width for the Galaxy Note 5. Now, just in case you're coming from Galaxy Note Edge and you want to know the difference coming from the old school one, the Note Edge, of course, obviously is a lot wider because of the edge. But height-wise, the Note 7 is a little bit taller. Same thing if you're coming from a Galaxy Note 4. Note 4 is actually wider, a little bit wider, but the same exact height. All right, so let me pause the video real quick. We'll set this up. I'll try out the iris sensor and uh, we'll see some of the features real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh yeah, one more thing. I forgot to compare it to my favorite phone that's out right now, the Moto Z Droid Force. Now the Moto Z Droid Force is a little bit taller and a little bit wider. All right, talk amongst yourselves again. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I just put all my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. And I got to tell y'all, fresh out of the box, this phone is a major go. All right, I am definitely feeling this. Now, here's the thing. For 950 bucks, am I blown away? And the answer is no. All right, if you already had a Galaxy Note 5 or a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus or a Galaxy S7 Edge, then the Note 7 is not going to knock your socks off. It's pretty much more of the same. Now, if you're upgrading from an older phone, then you may be blown away. 
Now, here's another question a lot of people have been asking me. If you got a Galaxy Note 5, should you upgrade and get a Galaxy Note 7? Well, give me a week, let me do the full review, and I'll be able to give you a better answer. But right now, I would say yes. Uh, you do get some more features and some more functionality. First of all, you get your always-on display. Now, that's a feature that I would use all the time on my S7 and my S7 Edge. I love it. Next, on the top, you got your expandable memory. All right, so you can drop a micro SD card right in that slot. You also have more features with the S Pen. All right, so more functionality. You do have your edge panels. So you got your apps edge, your people edge, your task edge, your edge panels, just like on the S7 Edge. And you have your iris sensor. Now this does work. Once you activate it, this is how it, this is how it looks. It's gonna pull up this little screen right here. You gotta line your eyes up and it'll open your phone. Now it is working fine right now. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to because you have to get used to the hang of uh, lining your eyes up. Now that could be kind of gimmicky. I don't see no way on this earth that that's gonna be faster than just using the fingerprint sensor. And speaking of fingerprint sensor, the fingerprint sensor does work better on the Note 7 than on the Note 5. Now when you're holding the phone in your hands, the Note 7 feels good in the hands. Ladies, holler at me. Feels a little bit better. All right, this one is more sharp and squarish. On the Note 7, you got your curved display. And one of the best features about the Note 7 as opposed to the Note 5 is the phone is water resistant. So that's a huge upgrade for me. Now, after a week, I'll do the full review and we'll see if it's really worth it or not. But like I said, for me, it'll be worth it. Fingerprint sense on this, nice and smooth. So far, no lag. All my apps are downloading in the background, looking good. I tested the headphones that came with it. Typical Samsung headphones. You already know, best display on the market, best camera on the market. This phone is a major go. All right, major, major go. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all want me to cover during the real review. You already know I'm going to tear it down from top to bottom. We're going to cover the lag. We're going to cover multitasking. We're going to go over all the S Pen features, the camera, the battery, wireless charging. We're going to go through everything. But if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover, like I said, leave it, up, leave it in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to y'all. One more question that people have been asking me now. So far, do I like this over the... Uh, Moto Z Droid Force. And I would say 950 bucks for this. I didn't have the same experience that I had with the uh, Moto Z Droid Force with the Moto Mods. I was way more hype. But you got to remember, I got so many Galaxy phones, the hype is pretty much dead. Moto Z Droid Force, those Moto Mods is killing the game right now. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter. Google Plus, shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comments section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Energize.